We are here in the finals of the men's absolute advanced division here at Copa, Virginia. This is a cash prize division. We have Corbray on the bottom versus Travis on the top. Corbray immediately entering into the leg lock here to sweep. Enters on the top, immediately passing the guard, going right to the back. No points on the board yet. He's we, have a, we have a side judge that's awarding the points. They're going to give the, pa the sweep to, or sorry, yeah, the sweep to Corbray. Corbray entering into the back, going into the truck, immediately going outside leg, potentially going to see a heel hook entry here or a knee bar entry. We could go outside heel hook. Travis is doing a really good job of controlling the legs as well to escape out, going straight leg and then going to come up. Entering into a leg lock of his own. And Travis has gotten his knee line out. Um, and he does a, he had both of his legs on the inside. Yeah. So he just keeps on re-pummeling and pushing that, uh, that top leg down so that he can't get a good bite on his leg. Yeah, Corbett is looking to kind of slide back through and pull everything back through. Uh, do pull Travis's knee line back into it so that he can get a, looks like he's really going for that outside ankle lock or heel hook. We know that both of those positions have paid him dividends today and in past Copa Virginia events. You know, Corbett's looking actually to take two of these in a row for Copa Virginia in the cash prize division. Travis looking to tech up here, and Corby entering it back into the legs. It's almost a crab ride for a second. Yeah, a little bit. We, and we've seen Corby take the back off of this before. Uh, he tried it initially at the beginning of the match, but he's got a really Ooh. strong bite on that ankle of Travis. But Travis is doing a great job inverting, getting legs out to the side, and then looking to actually come up off of it. But he's very, very cautious to not kind of come up into the calf slicer there or give up his back because we know Corbury is so and dynamic. And Travis has a bite on this far foot himself, though he doesn't have control of the knee. Yeah, it's, that's, it's finishable there, but it's just very, very hard to control without the knee line control. Yeah. And without lay, allowing your far leg to kind of get stuck. Yeah, tr and as soon as Corbury goes for that heel hook, Travis does a really good job of pulling out. Looks like we're in a strange position. I'm not sure how much of the knee line is controlled here. Corbett has both seem legs. Like the, yeah, it doesn't seem the knee line is controlled, but the far leg he has his foot in, with almost like a butterfly. Yeah, Corbett's looking to actually reach his hand under and pull the knee line back through. Travis is trying to invert and escape here and potentially actually use this as a heel hook entry of his own on the outside leg. Corbury's doing a great job having that same side double grip on the ankle there to pull the leg through and then shuttle it off to either side. He's looking to shuttle it potentially under the arm for an ankle lock grip. Almost gets a tap yeah. there and gets the tap for Travis with the top side ankle lock finish. Really great finals match here at Copa Virginia in the men's absolute division. Corbury takes another one. This is the second one in a row. Love to see guys getting paid in jiu-jitsu at uh, Copa, Virginia. How you doing? We're here with Gavin Corbett. Gavin taking another one here at Copa Virginia, taking another absolute uh, championship and prize money. What was your prep like for this one uh, versus the other event? Uh, I, honestly, for any competition, I don't really uh, do any specific preparation. Uh, I compete. I, I at least I try to compete year round, so I don't do anything too crazy. I, I train around the year pretty much the same. Maybe there's some chunks, weeks or two, uh, where I do a little bit specific positions, but nothing, nothing too different. What was your game plan for most of the matches going into this event? Uh, my game plan, just control the tempo. Uh, last Copa Virginia, I was, uh, I was relatively new to the leg game, so I, I probably highlighted a focus on uh, getting to the legs more. But this come or this tournament around, I try to really focus on controlling the offense. Not being too reactive, or at least that was intent, 
Uh, didn't matter if I went to the legs on top. I just try to control the offense. However that, however that came, depending on the person. So. With that game plan, although you're controlling the offense, controlling the tempo, were there any specific? Again, in last Cup Virginia, we saw you finish a lot of the tripod ankle locks. Mm -hmm. Here, there was a bigger diversity. Were there any submissions that you were looking for in particular going into this event? Uh, I like. I had some success from the last tournament with the legs, so I had the tendency to uh, attract towards that. But of course, how the matches went, it didn't really turn out the same way as last time. A lot of the guys I faced were different. I, I felt they were more experienced. Their base was a little bit more uh, competent. So every time I tried to go for the legs, they had they they were a, uh, anticipating. They were prepared for it. So I had really had to improvise and uh, had to had a fight for it, so it's awesome. So, great performance today. Uh, what are we gonna see you on next? What's your kind of next down the line event that you're looking to compete in and where you're looking to go So for the rest of 2022? So, I'm just thinking the main one, ADCC Trials, West Coast. Uh, That's in I'm April here. April, uh, yeah, uh, about a month away. I'm trying to get a, uh, another tournament local, wherever, whatever, just try to get some uh, mat time. Then, it's really all open until uh, um, I'm actually looking uh, to do Cobra Elite too. Uh, see how see how I feel after the trials. But uh, anything after April, May, I haven't planned yet. But I'm, I'm ready to compete. Whatever comes. So fantastic. Well, great performance again. Always love calling your matches. Thanks. Have a great performance. Yeah.